definitely you need a point in this house. Right, this is complete belt and braces, no need to put this in kind of a job. Got the, uh, got the torch on my phone, so. Good Tuesday morning, 22nd, 21st of May, just gone 8 o'clock. And we're on, what's this, number 10? On the trot? Yeah. This is about our 10th, roughly 10th on the trot. We've done that many, we haven't filmed them all. So it's just one today. This is a strange one, with this weird white rump of concrete. It's cracking up there, and the window's sagging, so we're gonna open it up and investigate. Red dye, got all the bits and bobs we need, all set up. Chat with the customer. He said he really struggled to get someone to do this for him. And um, was trust trust a trader? What was that the drop then? Edelinkle. Not something dropped there, very heavy. Edelinkle. Scrap one. Scrap one? Oh, see it now. I'll let you know at the end of the job how much somebody quoted for this job, and um, it'll be quite shocking. It certainly shocked me. As Alex said, we could retire. We charge that every time we did a little. It's just scary what people try and get out of people. So um, yeah, stay tuned. I'll let you know at the end of the video. Right, there you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's the top of the air cracking. So. That's where we're taking it out to. I'll tell you what, I'll we'll have to do a couple of them. Um, we might have to get more sand. It's going to be about 60 brick coming out of here, you know. We've got enough for half a mix. Yeah, but half, you're going to have to do like two, like two mixes, bit by bit. Just to make sure you gauge it properly, because it's going to be a lot of brick coming out of here. Yeah, so that's uh, that's what's happening. Obviously, we'll be coming out here to allow for the the tray, then there, and then we'll start coming in then up to the crack because there's no crack in here. It's just weird. It's cr crack there and nowhere else. So um, that's the plan. So let's get started. Five minutes in, and that I'm looking for the um, the cracks going down or up. But up if it's rusted lintel, down if it's a missing lintel. But all I'm getting is horizontal cracks, and then we've got another horizontal crack five courses above. Now that that means we don't have to take all this out because I'm convinced that is tie wire jacking, and it's just in this spot where it's happened. Yeah, another classic example of nice bond. Three quarter, half, quarter bond. Yeah, it's um, it's been repointed really badly. You can see there how deep they've gone to repoint it. They just smith smothered over it. So I'm going to take this back. I'm going to use the pick because it's only. Very, very, very soft. So I'm going to take it back as far as I can. Re Repoint that, and then we're going to take out the usual. In this case, two. And we'll see if this is staining or not. Customer has had a chimney knocked down, so he's got spare bricks. We'll see. We'll open it up and see what's what's hiding under here. So, um, how big can upstand? Two, one seventy again. Yeah. Luke. Still got me. <coughs> so we take two out and replace this. That's plenty to get the tray sorted. So we are taking that uh, concrete thing out. Well, I'll take two out and see what we'll see what we find. Yeah. All right, let's get cracking. Thank you. 
Right, I think finally I've come across the Holy Grail. The first time in 37 years. I keep hearing about these boot lintels. And um, this must be one. There's no insulation in the cavity. There's no cavity tray. Can't feel anything. As far as out there, nothing up there. So I should imagine the boot lintel's acting like a cavity tray if you like. So it's cast into, it's not, I don't think it's cast. I think this is like built in. But then <coughs> keep hearing about the big and heavy these things are. So you've got the internal skin, then you've got this chamfer and chamfered edge on it and then the front skin. So yeah. So what, what we're gonna do is to take the pressure off this, off the external part, which does look like it's dropped, and the window's dropped. We're gonna put um, our angle line across this to spread the weight over this, take the weight off it, <coughs> and then I'm gonna put a tray in. Which will go up there. And then we'll put insulation in for what it's worth. So yeah, that's the plan. I think that's a boot lintel, I think. See it? Yeah. That may have a seriously heavy lump. Grams doesn't sound as expensive now. Oh, I've let the cat out of the bag, I supposed to tell him at the end of the job. Yeah, well, I'll explain, I'll, I'll explain that later. So, yeah, we're still going to take these two out. I think we'll put the tray under the lintel so it just sits in there. That's probably the best idea. It's all, uh, it's all a learning curve, this, so I'm going to get this next couple out, get this propped up. Yeah, yeah it's solid, that. There's no movement in that. Yeah, crack on.
Right, break time over after a delicious cup of coffee. Spoke to the customer, explained what's going on. He's quite happy with carry on as we are. Like I say, unfortunately we can't do anything about the cold bridge and this, but this thing is fine. Anyway, this bit where it's gone, I reckon it's where the reinforcement doesn't go to the end. It's just took the stress of the bit where it's just knocked it. I don't think it's even dropped. I think it's the tie wires. There's, there's my theory. Uh, what's what's the uh, proven? That's my my theory of the blown tie wires is proven because there's there's the end of this big fat rusty tie wire. <coughs> so just say keep an eye on these horizontal cracks. There's the other one. As I say, it's the same on the other house too. Yeah. Yeah, we, we know it's in the van. This one here, that course we follow it through. Under the windows, they the same. The cracks in. Yeah. So, horizontal cracks going up the wall is usually tie wires. Diagonal cracks, if they go that way, out from the window, that's the rusty lintel pushing the brickwork up. If they go that way, from the lintel, that generally means there's no lintel or the lintel's failed and the brickwork's dropping. So there's your three, three, um, your three most common cracks in brickwork. You should make that a short or something, just to like say. Yeah, I think it will actually. The difference yeah. between uh, yeah, what 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 each crack means for your house. Yeah. Well, yeah. There you go. So that's a uh, yeah. We'll do it. We'll do it as a short so people can see it, <coughs> like a quick gap, a quick. A, a quick tip guide yeah. on cracks. Well, you should try and edit it together as well, so that like you've got pictures to prove, like pictures yeah. to show as well. I do, I do need to put more effort into the shorts and actually edit them. Yeah. Okay. So what, what I was going to say is this is probably going to be our, our easiest cavity tray ins installation ever because the, the actual lintel is the cavity tray. So I'm just going to put it, uh, put it, cut it. I'm going to stick it, stick it to the back there, and stick it to the front there, and put the lintel on top of it. And then if anything does come down, it'll go under the lintel. Right, I've just took a picture up the cavity. So I'll show you this this particular tie wire here. So we'll go directly with it. Got the uh, got the torch on my phone. So hopefully you can see. If I move along, hopefully this comes out. Stop at the acro. Right, this is complete belt and braces, no need to put this in kind of a job. But we put the tray in, we've no nailed it to back it, so it's just basically lining the lintel. Making it waterproof if you like. So our lintel's going to go on top of this. And then we might just leave some tiny, tiny holes out under the lintel for any water to escape. We won't be putting vents in because the vents need to go on top of the lintel. And so we need to go under the lintel. So we've got our up stands. It's like I say, it's belt and braces, it's not even needed, but we can put it in, so we'll put it in. I just need to get it trimmed, we've got it mixed up, and it's got a mix ready, we can start getting the brickwork over. No insulation going in whatsoever, because us putting it in now won't make any difference if we decide to inject it at a later date. So, that's it. Um, 
Alex has mixed white and then he's going to mix a bit of red for the pointing so just to um, make it nice and red even though this uh, definitely you need a point in this house so yeah let's crack on now future proof you just see the damp course underneath oh, that's under the lintel you can't see that from below though so any water if it does hit that tray will come under the lintel and just weep out there there's no vents in it can't put vents underneath the lintel it's a it's a different way of doing it but it's the only way we could do it on this particular occasion and we've got a vent at each end where the upstand is that's a great job that and then this is definitely tie wire jacking as I explained before if you want to follow the course along or this one follow this one along underneath that window you can see exactly the same is happening and there's a crack here too and it's um it's going on the weak spot under the windows because there's not much weight above whereas between the windows the, there's more weight of brickwork holding it down so that's that explains why it's in patches under the windows it's the weakest area from there to the, in the center so that's it um, I'm going to get this last bed filled up and we're done and it's just coming up for two o'clock and we're very chuffed oh yeah the, the window hasn't been covered because it's getting replaced just before you start typing so uh, leave your keyboard alone and just uh, enjoy the rest of the show
That road looks a bit better than the last one. But there you have it, another uh, weird and unique lintel job. Hope that, uh, hope that the music in that van didn't get picked up. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. Like Dad said, main thing was just supporting the brickwork since that whole lintel is, for the most part, doing its job. But um, you can actually see how uh, out level it was now that the lintel's in. But anyway, we also uh, pointed up a bit over there and then got this patched up. He said patch it up with a bit of mortar and then we'll uh, he'll sort the rest out. There you have it, that is another lintel 10 done. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and want to see more, hit subscribe and tap on that bell. That way you always know when we upload. It's a massive help and we greatly appreciate the support. And the additional support you'd want to give, there's a super thanks under the video or the PayPal and Dad's description. Not necessarily by any means, but a massive help for our channel. This has been Brickling with Steve and Alex with another red lintel. And we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.